30 October 2020. And today I want to quickly take you through a lecture that was presented by Professor Jonathan Moyo this afternoon at the Tswane University of Technology. And I had asked to be able to connect live, but unfortunately we are unable to connect. And I want to quickly give you a summary of the important points that Professor Moyo raised. And uh, Professor Moyo was assisted by Dr. Ricky Mukonza in the preparation of this lecture. The topic of the lecture was the revolution that lost its way, why elections in Africa are neither free nor fair. So I want to quickly run down the key points for the people that are going to be watching on WhatsApp so that they can also get it. So number one, the right to vote has two components. Firstly, the right of the government to choose their leaders. And secondly, the right of citizens to participate as candidates. Number two, the right to vote remains an elusive dream on the African continent. Number three, during the liberation struggle, there was a saying, no independence before majority rule, NIBMA. Number four, post-colonial African leaders have failed to put in place the institutions to allow free and fair elections. Number five, a wave of new democratic constitutions across Africa have not assisted in having free and fair elections. Number six, for example, in Zimbabwe, political reforms have actually made the situation worse as there was a coup just a few years after new, the new constitution was put in place. Number seven, there has been no discovery of the technology to manage elections as rule-bound processes that should be managed scientifically. Number eight, the management of elections has been influenced by charismatic authority or traditional authority. Number nine, Africans do not swear by what is right or what they want, but what they fear. Number 10, fear is more persuasive to Africans than what is right, equitable, and just. Number 11, a big man's society cannot have big ideas. Number 12, it is impossible to have rule bound behavior in a big man's society. Number 13, a discourse on African moral values is needed. Number 14, at present, where values come into place, they are either ethnic or traditional values. At present, values are about the majority and not about all humanity. Number 16, values must be about human values, moral values, and not traditional values. Number 17, the freeness and fairness of elections are determined by their management and not by rules. Number 18, freeness and fairness of elections is not about what politicians do or say or about the law, but about how they're managed, by who and on what basis. Number 19, no constitution is cast in stone and is, is beyond amendment. Number 20, African customer, customary law is a critical source of law that has been neglected since the colonial days. In spite of prog progress, the Africa new democratic constitution in Africa continue to perpetuate the view that African customary law is not a source of law. Number 21, while everything else has been changing in Africa, African customary law has remained virtually unchanged. Number 22, after independence, the new post-colonial leaders treated African customary law as a cheap source of votes to keep the new leaders in power forever. Number 23, the reason for the appeasement of rural population is because they are large numbers, but it was not really because of caring about them. Number 24, just like in the colonial period, African customer law is still stuck at the bottom. Number 25, interventions are now necessary to save African customer law. Number 26, most Africans are living outside the law, in fact, the so-called general law. Number 27, there is a need to equate African customer law to common law. Now let's go to the proposals that Professor Jonathan Moyo gave this afternoon. There's need to promote debate on the moral values 
that are common to all Africans. Number two, it is necessary to devolve election management. The centralization of election systems that is common across Africa is prone to abuse and leads to elections that are neither free nor fair. Number three, African countries have not understood that the most important social invention of the Industrial Revolution is the concept of formal organization or bureaucracy. It will not be possible for African countries to have free and fair elections without applying to the conduct of elections, a technology or formal organization. As an example, he gave the United States elections and he says that system is decentralized and it cannot be manipulated by one person, even though Trump is, is trying as much as he can, there is an understanding in the United States that no one is a national address. Everyone is a local address and therefore elections are held locally. And in conclusion, the fundamental objective of freedom struggles, which was to bring the right to vote, has remained a marriage in Africa. The African revolution lost its way when freedom fighters replaced the personal right to vote with the right to rule by forever by the victorious. When the right to vote gets removed, all other rights fall away. So I really enjoyed this lecture. Professor Jonathan Moyo, very, very clear. I like Professor Jonathan Moyo, and I think he's got a valuable contribution to make in our country. I just wish that he could be back in the country to to give all this information locally and not through Zooms and also to contribute to the country. So this is what he said. I do not want to say more. You can go and watch the full video at the TU2, TUT, Sun Invisible Technology Facebook page. I'll put the link in the video. Thank you very much.